We are the dollars and cents. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, today we're going to do another unboxing, first impressions, and update video. This time we go to the House of Mancera. Um, it's been a while since I've done um, a video from the House of Mancera. If I recall, it might have, it might be, um, it might have been the uh, the one that I did like a couple of years ago on the red tobacco. But I will look in my uh, archives and I'll, you know, uh, correct myself. But I'll put every other Mancera video down in the description. That way, you guys can watch those videos as well. Um, but this is, a, I think this might be their first flanker. I don't think I've ever seen a flanker um, in the the House of Mancera. So this might be their first, and it's actually one of their most popular fragrances. Um, it was their take on, I think, Aventus. It wasn't exact by any means. Um, it was a thicker, sweeter, fuller version of Aventus because they did share a couple of similar notes. But um, overall, I think it was pretty much its own composition, but a lot of people said it, it did remind them of Aventus. And uh, without further ado, it is Intense Cedrat Boise. And I, I can't recall if I did a video on this one whenever I first tried the original. But if I did, I'll, again, I'll link it down below. Um, but I want to say that I did, the last one I did was Red Tobacco, the last video that I did. But yeah, I actually just, I just heard about this one recently. So I thought this was just released. Um, and apparently it was re released a couple of years ago. And I'll get to the information in a minute. But um, yeah, I'm just curious why they decided to make an Intense version of this one. Um, because I thought that the original Cedrat Boise was actually, um, pretty, pretty strong in itself. It didn't need an intense version, um, but it's okay, because, uh, here I am trying it, and, of course, that one was one of my favorites from the house. Always got me compliments. Uh, if I still own the original, um, I, that would be in my top, if, if I did a top 10 video of most complimented fragrances, it'd be, that would be in the top 10. I can't tell you where it'd be, like, in the lineup, but it would be up there, because everyone always asks me what I was wearing when I wore that fragrance. So, I can only imagine this one's gonna be stronger, um, and maybe better. Um, so let's, you know, we'll, we'll see, see in a little bit if that's going to be the case or not, but let me get to a little bit of information about this fragrance. So, uh, intense Cedrat Boise or Cedrat Boise intense from the house of Mancera, uh, is a citrusy, fruity, amber, woody fragrance released in 2021. It is an eau de parfum concentration. The notes for this fragrance in the top, we have Sicilian citruses, we have black currant and spices in the mid. We have leather, sandalwood, oud, which is an uh, ad addition there, I believe. Patchouli and jasmine. And the base round things off with uh, ambergris, vanilla, musk, and oak moss. Now, I did compare the notes from the original Cedrat Boise, and it, it pretty much is the same composition as the first one. Um, they added a couple of notes here and there, but I want to say that the oud wasn't in the original. Um, I'm going off memory here, so I could be wrong about that, but I want to say that there, there was not oud in the original composition. So that that might change things up a little bit. Uh, other than that, I think it has a lot of the same notes, and they might have added like maybe jasmine or something. But I want to say it's almost the exact same note breakdown. So I'm a little, uh, I'm a little uh, discouraged, I guess is the word, to to uh, to think that maybe it's going to smell exactly like the original, just stronger. Which I can't really be that 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 upset about it because honestly, I always do say that that's what I want in in some fragrances. I just want a stronger version. But like I said, the original Cedrat was was strong. And it got the job done. It lasted on my skin anyway a long time, and it and it it uh, had good projection. So, did it did it need an intense version? I don't know, but maybe it's the intense version that we didn't know we needed until today. So, guys, let's check out this presentation again. Not too much going on with this box. If you guys have seen these uh, presentations, you've seen them before. But I'll. It's not that often that I actually get a full presentation um, with. It's either Montals or Manceras. I, a lot of these I don't get, but. So it does come in the, the cool, like, little leather pouch. Um, I think they come in different colors as well. This one is kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a shiny, weird light purple kind of thing. But, all right. And pull the tassels. Let's break out the bottle gear here, guys. Here's the bottle. Looks exactly like the, like the other bottle. I did get this in a swap, so there has been some juice used. It's not brand new. But I do think I got a pretty good pretty good swap. Now, this, uh, this is, okay, so this is new because I've, in the past, I want to say that they've always had twist-off caps, and this one has a uh, magnetic cap on it. So that actually is a nice addition um, for Mancera. I do like, I mean, this is really, really on there. This is on there really, really good. So I do like that they have uh, magnetic caps on here now. Uh, nice, nice addition. Yes, because I think uh, I think the threads on the old bottles would actually go the opposite way, and so people would... would um, they would tighten them or something, and it'd be backwards. And whenever you would tighten it up, 
uh, you would t- like, I-, I can't remember how it went, but I remember I got one stuck. That's my point. That I got the top stuck on there one time. I couldn't get it off and I was really frustrated by it and I had to like take some uh, pliers to it and-, and take it off slowly. But, uh, yeah, happy to see they fixed that. And again, that's a really strong magnet. That is like, I mean, that's like super strong. It's like, pull- it's like pulling my hand down. So anyway, enough about the magnet. Um, so yeah, so you guys heard the notes and you guys see the simple plain bottle. It's a nice bottle. I do like the hand fill this bottle. Has a nice little edge here at the bottom, but let's get to the let's get to the good stuff. Here's a first impression, guys. Let's see what this fragrance is all about. If it's worth uh, talking about, if it's worth uh, just keeping the original and not getting the new one. Here we go. And then we'll, this will be nice rare. This will be my saint of the evening. Okay, yeah. It definitely smells like the original. Um, I'm getting a lot of citrus notes. I'm getting some of that leather too. Um, and I want to say there's leather in the original, but I'm I'm getting a lot of leather in this one. Yeah, so I'm getting this is to my nose right now. It smells like the original composition, which isn't a bad thing. I'm just curious to see why this one's going to be intense. But it smells it smells really really good. You're getting your your citrus notes. You're getting your spices. You're getting the fruit from the black currant. You're getting that leather that gives it a bit of a. Um, I don't really know how to, how, how to say it, but it just gives it a bit of a leathery, almost mature kind of vibe. But you're getting a lot of the patchouli and the vanilla. So the patchouli and the vanilla in this composition is what, to my nose anyway, or at least in my opinion, is what gives Cedrop Boise the edge, or, or at least makes it stand out from other um, uh, other Aventus clones, which right now I wouldn't even say this is a clone of Aventus. I think a lot of people in the air think that it does, and that's okay because that's good company to keep. But... Um, to my nose, this reminds me a lot more of, I'm trying to think of what, what, which one it was. Um, maybe it's, it's almost has like the dry down of, of Ani. I think it's, that's, that's what I'm trying to think of from Nishane. Um, cause that one's very sweet. Uh, it's, it's like, it's like a citrusy vanilla patchouli, I think. So I almost picture their, um, I can't remember what the, the name of their Aventus clone was. It came in the white bottle. So picture that one. Mixed with Ani, and you get Cedrat Boise. And if you guys have never tried those, then don't worry about it. I'm just kind of talking to my my uh, guys who who are really familiar with other uh, niche fragrances out there. But what I'm getting right now is a very thick, very sweet, uh, very heavy, citrusy, patchouli, leathery fragrance. But it's very, very nice. Like, this is very, very... This is quality juice right here. If I had to guess... Because I don't have the other one to test side by side, I would guess this is going to be the better composition of the two. Because this just—I it, mean—it smells like the original, but it's just—it's just—it's heavier, it's thicker. Uh, to, go, just go off memory here. I could be wrong about that, but I think it, it kept all the best aspects of the original, and it's added some more uh, beefiness. It's just heftier, um, and in my opinion, that makes it better. So to me, I think it's going to probably last longer. It's probably going to jump up your skin more. But yeah, I can't honestly say too much more about this one because if you tried the original, then then you you know what this one smells like. I just think this is a stronger version right now. Could be completely wrong. But like I said, that one always got me compliments. And um, honestly, how sweet this one is and how heavy this one is, it might be... Well, we'll get to that in the update, but I mean, it's 100 degrees outside right now. And it's like... Almost nine o'clock. I mean, here in Texas, it stays hot till after the sun goes down in the summertime. But I do think that the citruses in this and the black currant, the fruitiness and the citruses are going to pull this one through to where you might, I'm, I should be able to wear this one tonight without any issues. But that patchouli and that vanilla could cause some problems. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated though. This smells really, really nice. I, I want to say the citrus notes smell a lot brighter than the original. I'm getting some really, really nice citrus. Uh, just some very nice, fresh, citrusy notes on top that I'm really, really digging. And that that leather note smells like, um, almost like boot boot leather, like brown leather, but it's nice and smooth. It's not harsh. It's not in your face. It's just mixing really well with those citrus notes. And that right there, I enjoy. So uh, I'm going to enjoy wearing this fragrance tonight and over the next couple of days. I'll give you guys an update shortly. Talk to you then. All right, guys, I'm back with my update for Intense Cedrop Boise from the House of Mancera. Guys, um, this is a good fragrance. Um, there's a couple of things I do have to mention about this fragrance. One, I will say that I didn't have a chance to try the original side by side, so that's a shame. Um, but I don't have it anymore, and I didn't have a sample of it, and I didn't want to wait. Um, 
But this is a good fragrance, but it does remind me of the original. Again, couldn't try them side by side, so you guys can let me know in the comments what you think about them if you have tried side by side. Um, but this does remind me a lot of the original. I will say, going off of memory alone, that I do think this is just a stronger version. I think the leather is a lot stronger than this, more pronounced than the original. Um, but it does have a very intense citrusy uh, opening. Very, it's like it's almost like um, I don't know if it's lemon or orange. I guess that there's um, it just says Sicilian citruses. So just imagine like oranges and lemons, like when you're like peeling it. If you if you peel the rind with your hands, getting the oils on your fingers. It's this is a very very strong, very um, very bright, very crisp uh, citrus note, um, and it mixes really well with the rest of the notes. It's very spicy, has that fruity black currant in it, so it has some sharpness from that. Um, the leather in this is stronger than the original that I remember. It's it's woody. Um, the patchouli's there. I don't get that much jasmine, at least not to my nose. Um, and it's very sweet. So the su sweet and the dry down, so you get the vanilla. A little bit green from the oak moss and um, a little bit warm spicy, I guess, from the ambergris. But overall, it's going to be very citrusy, um, patchouli, so a little bit earthy, and then it's sweet from like the vanilla. That's really what you get from this fragrance. Oh, I'm sorry, and some leather in there as well. Um, the leather in there is like not super over the top, but it's there. If you liked it in the original, you're going to like it in this one. Again, unfortunately, I couldn't compare the two by, side by side. I really wish I had the opportunity to, but I didn't. Um, I was going, I went on for Granica. People in the comments were saying that the original lasts longer and the original is better. So don't waste your money. I, again, that's, that's another reason why I wish I had both so I can try them both side by side, but I didn't. Um, I, I, I can't, I can't, um, you know, really say that they, what they're saying is true. Um, but in my experience, this is really, really strong. Like, for, I got eight hours of longevity with this fragrance. I got really good projection. Somebody at work stopped me and said, dude, what are you wearing? He's one of the guys at work that always buys my stuff. And so whenever, um, that's kind of the way that he finds out what I'm selling. He'll ask me, hey, what, what are you wearing? Okay, I want that. Can you get me a bottle of it? He stopped me on this one. Unfortunately, it's out of his price range currently. Um, but um, the longevity projection were really good. with I can't say beast, but very, very good. Um, again, it's better than the original. I don't know. Some people, again, people for granted were saying that it, that the old one, the original, is better than this one and in that category. I can't tell you if that's true or not. Um, but the uh, seasons for this fragrance, man, that's going to be tough because I can wear this one in the summer even though it's very strong and sweet. Um, I would probably lean towards more like warm weather, yeah, but maybe fall. Like fall, I hear because with the spiciness and the leather and that patchouli, this one is more of a like a cooler day fragrance, in my opinion, like warm to cool. So maybe not the heat of summer, um, just sort of right there in between summer and winter. So maybe fall, probably the best time to wear this fragrance because it is very sweet. It's got that earthy patchouli in it, um, and, but it's citrusy. So it'll, it'll take care of the warm side of things, but it also needs a little bit more of a, a thinner air, I guess, or cooler air to... Uh, to not really offend people around you. But again, I wore this one in the summer. It wasn't offending, offending anybody around, uh, around me, but again, that's just my experience. Um, I do say fall is probably better for this fragrance, though. So, um, uh, occasions for this fragrance, I'm gonna say are uh, probably all occasions. Um, I think you can wear this one casually during the day, like I mentioned with the citrus, uh, the citrus notes. Um, you can wear this one uh, dressed down suit and tie. The patchouli note makes it very masculine, very, um, you know, suit and tie. Probably wear this one to work. It's very sweet, so this one would be nice for date night, evening out, maybe club. I think it might be strong enough for a club. Um, and I think it's uh, safe for work. Um, so I think it pretty much hits all the aspects. I think you can really wear this from pretty much anywhere you want. Um, but again, I'll leave it up to you guys to figure out where you guys want to wear this fragrance because, uh, you know, everyone's different. Um, but yeah, ages for this fragrance are good. probably going to be 25 and up. I think it's a might be affordable right now. I think I saw a price for this one. I want to say I saw it cheaper, but it could have been the the original. They just, you know, sometimes for Granica, they'll post uh, something for sale, um, and uh, it's not the original. It'll look this looks just like it, but um, so I want to say maybe 125, 130, something like that. So I saw this one for 25 and up. You should be able to uh, appreciate that price, not not go crazy about the price or anything. Um, but also, I think they'd be able to pull it off. I think it's very sweet, but the patchouli is it's a little heavy in the leather, so. It might turn some younger noses off, so be careful with that, guys. But what 25 and up, I think, is a safe age range for this fragrance. I, I, I Yeah, so um, I do think this is a good fragrance. Overall, I do think this is a really good fragrance. I think that, um, man, it's going to be tough uh, for you to pick between. That. The biggest issue you can have with this, with this one is picking whether you want to keep your original and get this one 
uh, or get both or whatever. Just some, some way of you guys are trying to figure out which one you want more because I didn't get a chance to try them side by side. So unfortunately, I can't tell you guys that. Um, but I do think it's a good fragrance. Uh, do some research, guys. Um, to me, I think this is a stronger, better version of the original. Um, comments are saying the opposite. So uh, that's their experience. But mine is I do get a, very, a stronger, more intense a more intense version of the original guys. So if you guys want a better, stronger uh, version of the original, then try this one guys. But what are your thoughts on intense said drop boise? Am I crazy? Am I wrong about my assessment? Is the original stronger than this one? You guys let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about this one guys. But thank you guys so much for watching the video on my channel. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for future first impressions videos. And first edit content just like this guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There you find first edit photos and future contest winners. And as always, until next video, you guys take care. Thanks.